Hello and welcome to a new video about the Internet of Things. Last time we did this. Huh? Live data. Live data. We built this. Yeah? Live data in our thing. Yeah? Here's the thing. Here's the data value. Refresh. You see it's changing. If I touch here the temperature sensor, the temperature is going up. What we want to do now is to add a so-called mashup. A mashup in, in terminology, terminology of, of ThingWorks is something like a dashboard. You see live data. Okay, you want to display, I don't have to press this refresh here. I want to see a web page where I can see my class temperature. This would be the goal. Okay. Like said, in in ThingWorks, this is called a mashup. How do I add a mashup? Simply at the top, I will exclude this now. This is working. Huh? Now simply add here mashup. Huh? Here's a mashup. We'll use a responsive mashup. It's okay. Huh? Okay. Name. Again, we stick to the naming convention with school number. Class number, name of the person, project, and then MU for MU for mashup, and we will bind this to our project. Okay, save. Now there is a mashup. Now, if we change to design, we can change it. Yeah? The third thing we have to take care about is that we have a display. Okay? We have a display. Maybe it should not be the first thing. However, we can switch to the widgets yeah? and we can select something. I will use the LED display. This is displaying a number. Here we have it. Okay? This is displaying a number. Uh, down here you have the properties, yeah? and I will also add a label, which is called temperature. Okay, LED size, you can be large or extra large or whatever. Yeah? You, can, you can try there some things. Yeah? You can even change uh, the design and so on. Yeah? Style properties. Here they are, LED style, different colors and so on. Poo, poo, poo. There are a lot of a lot of options. However, we want to get data to here. Eh? Now we have temperature. Eh? We want to get data. How is this working? We, we want to retrieve the data from our thing. Eh? And here there is nothing. In data portion there is nothing. We have to add something here. Add and I will use our thing here. Yeah? And now it asks me which service do you want to have from this thing? And there is a service called get property values down here. So here it is get property values. And I want to have this. Yeah, I will simply drop it here. Back. This service I want to have. You see, the thing is providing quite a lot of services. So there is a huge amount of what what are the possibilities so done yeah. now i have this service and under the service there's return data under return data there's all data and there is the class temperature okay and as we are meanwhile used to with btc uh for a studio and so on what we've used uh, we can simply take this class temperature pull it over and let it drop here yeah? and we drop it to data. Huh? Now the glass temperature of our service, you see it down here, the glass temperature of our service is bound to the data column of this temperature. Good. Huh? This should do the trick. I will let few mesh up temperature zero. Nothing is changing. Hmm? Why? Is this is this thing no longer working? Refresh. Twenty one dot four six six. 
Should be. At least they should be in 20, 20, 24. Look, it's working. It's working. And here it's not. The reason why it's not working. The reason why it's not working is we have this service. We bound the service to our data. However, we're never calling this. We're never calling this service. If we change it to Explorer, we can have a measure, and this measure has the event loaded. If I now drag this loaded here to get property values and let it drop, then whenever the measure is loaded, it will execute get property values, and get property values will then fill in data to the LED display. Nice. Yeah? Safe. View measure. 20.93. It's there. Data is there. Not changing. Reload. 24. Uh -huh. Use this reload button. 25. So it's not changing automatically. Because we only told the service to get invoked after the mashup has been loaded. This is nice for initial filling then. Yeah? However, if we want to, to fill, to have live data, we need to refresh. Yeah? And here under widgets, yeah? there if you select all, there is an auto refresh. Auto refresh, hello. Yeah? Take the auto refresh. Uh, auto refresh, perfect. Yeah. Now we have to also bind the refresh event. There's the refresh event. We have to bind this to get property values. Back, yeah, no, get property values is now invoked at loaded and at auto refresh. And we set the auto refresh time uh, shall be. Not 30 seconds interval, uh, but maybe three. Three seconds. Oh, every three seconds. Yeah. This auto refresh, I want this not to be shown. Yeah? It shall be in the background. So I'd simply say visible, not visible. Not visible here. That's it. Save. Yeah? View measure. 21.82 degree. Let's see if something is changing. Touch this. 21.3438. Yeah. And now it should really go up. Yeah. 24.8. Now it's all live data. Yeah. Now I have a temperature on my screen. Measured here. Yeah. Measured here. Here the temperature is measured. By the Arduino, the Arduino is setting the temperature to the ESP. The ESP is using the HTTP request to send them to the ThingWorks instance somewhere, yeah? and I can watch it <laughs> from here to here in just a few seconds. <laughs> you know, it doesn't really matter how far I am away. Yeah? This is good now. I mean. You can try to extend this with the level and so on. Yeah. By the way, I've, I've done here a little bit different things. You see, I have placed this here. Now I can easily change the level. Hmm. So if you extend this to the level and the filling, you can have a little bit more. Yeah. You can try something with the mashups. Yeah. There are so many things you can do. Yeah? You, really, if you look at, at, at how many widgets there are, there are some. There are some. So this is how to very brief introduction to how to make a mashup. Meshup can be tremendously complex, yeah, with lines and everything. Yeah. 
So, next time we're going to talk about how we can get this data not only in a mashup, but also in a Vuforia experience. So we want to do augmented reality and Internet of Things and combine those two. Yeah? Because then, you know, this is integrated. This, this thing works and Vuforia, these two things are integrated and they work together. How this is done will then be in next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.